Overclocking. Sounds scary, I know. But NVIDIA have this app, the NVIDIA app, funny enough, that lets you automatically, safely, very safely, overclock your GPU. Optimize your entire GPU from the thing itself in literally the click of a button. I'm going to be showing you how to do that in today's video. If it works, drop a like, subscribe. We're going to get straight into this. What you want to do is download the NVIDIA app. I made a whole video very recently. By the time you're watching this, it was probably, I don't know how long ago. Actually, let me know down below how long ago that was. It was yesterday. Right now, it was yesterday. And I show you how to optimize your NVIDIA app. Yeah, there's other stuff you can do in there than just overclock your GPU. So I suggest you give that a watch, but you can do this first. Yeah, just open your NVIDIA app. Once you're here and you're on the latest drivers, the loads, yeah, the latest drivers, you want to go to system. And if you go to performance, now as you can see here, this is the good stuff. It says automatic tuning. It's what we're going to be using today. And it tells you right here, the automated tuner finds the best overclock settings using an advanced scanning algorithm and manages your GPU tuning profile for you. This is usually something you have to do for your entire whole self. I have a more, I guess, in-depth GPU control uh, overclock video. I'll link that down below if you want to watch it. But I'll be real. This stuff, this is pretty good. And I wish I was paid to say that, but it's incredible, man. Like it says, right, it even says on a monthly basis, when your system is an idle, so it's not being used, it reruns this scanning algorithm and does it to maintain and consistently update the overclock so you the best performance, basically. Just insane. But all you need to do is click this button. Super, super simple. Um, It's going to take 10 to 20 minutes. Yeah, I know. I know. It's a, it's a long time. Thankfully, I've got some other videos. Again, I already mentioned down below that you can watch in that meantime. But, or you can scroll TikTok. Who cares? But during this time, you want to keep your system idle. Just don't touch it. But yeah, toggle it. It's going to say scanning. Again, it's telling you, like, don't really touch your system. I, I mean, it's saying don't do GPU intensive tasks. So, like, yeah, don't obviously don't load up Fortnite. Uh, don't play YouTube videos or videos on your computer. Don't record a video like I'm doing right now. You know, maybe changing a few little settings in your file explorer or I don't know, in your windows right here. Yeah, I, I imagine it probably won't affect the results as much. For the most part, leave the computer alone. It's going to be different for everyone. Some of you may be a lot faster, but yeah, just give it time and I'll get back to you uh, when it's done. All right, listen up, guys. You know how much I've spent on my Roblox account and I know how much you hate dealing with overpriced game currency and sketchy exchanges. We've all had our fair share of horror stories, but I finally found the site I can trust. It's called Eldorado. Eldorado has completely changed the game for me. Every transaction on here is secure, so there's zero stress about being scammed. Plus, they have something called Eldorado Trade Show Protection which means they've got your back every step of the way. I know we all want the best currency rates and with Eldorado, I get my game currency fast, like in just a few minutes fast. They seriously have some of the lowest prices I've seen and I'm saving a ton compared to other places. And when it comes to in-game cosmetics, same deal. They've got everything you need to deck out your locker. And I'm not the only one talking about this. Check out these Trustpilot reviews. Thousands of gamers just like me are giving Eldorado top marks. It's legit. Their support team online 24 seven. If you ever need help, help it could be 3 a.m they're ready to answer any questions and i've got a money back guarantee so it's pretty much risk-free either you get your order or you get your money back simple as that so if you're tired of overpriced game currency and want a trustworthy place to safely exchange in-game cosmetics check out aldorado.gg with a link in the description and you can use code fetch at checkout for an exclusive discount only for you guys wow um i literally ended the recording and six seconds later i kid you not six seconds later it completed okay uh, um, I guess if you have a better GPU, maybe that makes it faster. I, I don't know how it works. That seriously just took me like, from when I started speaking to when I clicked the button, it took like a minute, okay? A minute or two. Let me know as well down below how long it takes for you. That'll be interesting to see. But boom, that's it. You're good to go. It's going to change all your performance limits. It's going to set them for you. There's no need to press apply anything. Just keep this turned on. And it, I'm telling you, like it really is that simple. You can now go in game, test this. You are going to have better performance. And I think the only thing I would manually change would be the fan speed target. Now, again, it's done automatically. It set me to 50. If we change it to or make sure it's on manual instead of automatic, I would always set this just to be sure to something between the range of 70 um, and 90. Now you're going to hear your fans in your PC speed up. It's going to be a lot louder. 
may be a little bit annoying, but if you have a good headset, it won't be too much of an issue and it is going to make your PC cooler and cooler PC equals better performance or better frames and better frames, better stable frames, just need to make that distinction there, equals less input delay. So overall, it's a win-win having this higher than usual. Again, it's going to be loud. And in the case you don't like the loud, uh, just, you know, you can go with whatever the default value is. But just know that again, if it's on manual and it set you to like a default value like 50, it's never going to go above 50. It's locked on 50. At least with something like automatic, it will not tell you what value it's on. It's a big, big mystery. But at least in this case, if it needs to push up to 100 in any situation where your PC is under huge stress, bro, and it's like very hot in there, it's going to at least push it. It's going to push it. It's going to say, yo, dude, we need to do 100% right now. And that'll help bring it down and then actually improve your performance. So you know what? I'm going to stand on it. Automatic or 70 to 90. This 50 stuff. Yeah, man. It's the only thing they've got wrong. And now other than that is, well, that's it, by the way, for the overclock. Yeah, you're good to go. But as for like your graphics, um, your global settings, you want to optimize these again. I've got a whole video on that. If you're at this point and you haven't done it, like you're in the app. You, if you don't, if you've optimized your GPU and you've not done this, like you don't want good FPS. I'm sorry. You're, you're, your head's in the clouds, buddy. Again, make sure your drive's updated and everything else is pretty good. I guess I'm also going to mention it while I'm here, but NVIDIA overlay, this is going to affect your performance. So if you don't need it, turn it off. But if you do need it, open it, go to, where is it? Ambline settings, world's cog in the top right hand corner. And if you go to video capture, ideally turn off desktop capture. If you're going to use it, you don't need it to capture your entire display 24 seven. All you need to do is to do game capture. So if you turn this off automatically, it's gonna set it to the game. It's automatically gonna only use game capture, especially if you've got uh, highlights right here enabled, which is like the entire purpose. And you'll be good to go. When you launch Fortnite, it will be recording. It'll be ready to clip. Instant replay length. I have one on one minute. The higher you have this, the worse performance you're gonna get. So one minute is kind of like a sweet, a sweet spot. And as for quality, if you have a low PC, go with low. Mid tier PC, go with medium. High end PC, go with high. Uh, resolution in game and frame rate don't go anywhere above 60 FPS. This is completely, completely overkill. So yeah, go 60. Ideally, don't go 30. It's really bad. For the most of you as well, uh, 60 to 90 bit rate. If you're on an Ethernet cable and have decent internet, will be good. If you have a really bad internet connection and you don't use Ethernet, have a look at 30. See how good that is. 